our storefront to what is a growing uh, and thriving institution that serves thousands and thousands of our neighbors. It didn't happen simply because we wished it to be true. It happened because of the hard work and dedication of a staff that every day got up and said, we're going to try to make lives of others better. And a handful, and frankly a growing handful, of people in our community who dug deep into their pockets and knocked on their neighbors' doors to raise money. Ellie Kleinman, as all of you know, Friedberg, Kleinman, can't go wrong. <laughs> Ellie Kleinman, as you know, and all of us in public life know, has always been one such person, but there are others who are here today that also deserve that recognition. And let us remember, as we sit here, we do so in the middle of a, an economy that has seen a lot better days. And this community is one that has always prided itself by pulling itself up by its own bootstraps. It's not one that bangs on the door of elected officials. It's not one that goes hat in hand asking for special programs. It is a community that always says, let us try to take care of ourselves. Bikr Kholim is such a concept. But we also need to know that we in government need to be helpful to, com to communities like yours. And I want to also lead all of us in extending the thanks to our state and city legislators who every year, having dealing with difficult budgets, always make sure that there are a, a few dollars that wind its way here. This is one of the most talented and hardworking collection of elected colleagues that I find anywhere in the city. And we should also acknowledge two other groups of people who are not here. First is 160,000 American men and women that fight for us in Iraq and Afghanistan. They do so with the flag of our country. They do so with the flag of our country on their shoulders so that we can worship as we please and that we can live in the greatest country on earth. And secondly, we should also keep in the thoughts and our prayers all the members of the Israeli Defense Forces who today face wars on their north, wars to the south, and they also face international condemnation the same way the United States faces international condemnation so often. Even if we are the last country on earth who understands the facts of the Middle East, who understand who the true David and the true Goliath is, the United States should continue to stand with Israel. And I know that the people on this block understand that. I know that the supporters of Bikr Kholim understand that. But for all of those men and women who fight to, on the front lines of that defense, let's remember to keep them in our thoughts. Congratulations, Mazal Tov. Thank you very much for being here. And I want to especially thank my good friend Ellie Kleinman and his beautiful wife for helping make this day a reality.